today I've come into a place called Thurn, as it's not too far from where I live. I thought it could be interesting to maybe kind of have a wander along the river. And there's a few uh, windmills just uh, down behind me. It's actually been maybe three or four years since I've been down here, uh, but that's when I was shooting lots of digital. So I thought maybe it could be interesting to revisit the scene, to see maybe how I approach it differently now that I'm using kind of film. But uh, it's lovely weather, but I think I kind of underestimated and brought the wrong uh, coat, so hopefully I don't get too hot. So let's uh, have a wander around. So I've just started uh, walking along the, uh, the riverbank that I used to do in the past and there seems to be a gate with a sign on it informing that it's not open to the public so there's no public access and it's actually private property now. So there's actually a phone number as well which I've just had a nice conversation with someone who has actually just informed me that uh, ownership of the land has, has changed and because of that, that means that the old access towards the, the windmills is no longer public, which is quite disappointing to say the least. So I think what I'm gonna do now is go to a place called St Bennett's Abbey, which isn't too far uh, along the way. So we'll head back to the car. It's literally like 30 seconds behind me and I've just not been able to kind of go any further. Um, and also on the phone call, it was mentioned that the old walkway possibly might not be accessible anyway, um, could have been dug out and maybe kind of created like a waterway channel. So even if I ignored the sun and started heading that way, I might not even be able to kind of get down there anyway. So there's no point in me being kind of bothered to, to kind of try or even if I get caught by the farm and the dam, we kind of want to have any kind of conversations and conflict that way. So instead of just kind of going along and ignoring the sign, we'll head back to the car, drive to St. Benny's, um, St. Bennett's. Yeah, St. Bennett's Abbey, <laughs> uh, which is like less than 10 minutes drive away. And let's, <laughs> let's try again. So uh, let's go back to the car. So I've just set the camera up initially, but I've not uh, composed it properly yet. I just kind of thought this side of the abbey might be a bit more interesting, especially with the, the reeds in the foreground. And again, with the sun kind of being on this side, hopefully that kind of will make the texture on the brick stand out a bit better instead of it being in shadow. Um, so I'll kind of compose, take a few shots here and there on this side and uh, see what the results are later on once I get the film developed. Oh, 
just lit up the camera with another roll of black and white film. But I think actually what I'm going to do is switch out the film back with another one which I've got from the previous uh, outing we did. Um, and as there's only a few shots left, I think I might as well just uh, try and finish that roll up. So I think that's uh, Lomography's Colour 100 on it. So I might as well just uh, use them up while I'm out here as the, the colour's actually pretty good. Maybe the sky might kind of get a bit more interesting uh, as it kind of gets closer to sunset. So you never know. So I'll just uh, switch them over. So I've just wandered uh, a bit further down from the abbey along the uh, the riverbank because um, the cloud has kind of rolled over so it's kind of gone a bit more dull and then um, less kind of contrast and interesting kind of light happening at the moment. So I thought if I maybe wander a bit further around there might be something more interesting. So instead of kind of having the abbey like you know right in your face i thought it'd kind of be interesting for me to kind of step back obviously in this case it's quite far back actually and followed the the river uh, along the river bank and i thought maybe that could be an interesting kind of leading line and an element to kind of include so i've metered set the camera up and i actually really like using red filters again because that's kind of my style i suppose when it comes to black and white photography is kind of the high contrast kind of scenes and um exposure so Maybe I can kind of do some post-processing in terms of like doing something with the the river, the stream itself to kind of, again, emphasize the kind of the leading element towards uh, the abbey. So um, I'll take a picture and we'll have a look at it later on. So it looks like I've actually ended today's video with where I started, kind of, sort of, with uh, the abbey behind me uh, and again the reeds kind of in the foreground. The sunset was actually kind of going off into the distance, but because of how dark it was on the other side of the actual tower, I thought I'd kind of come back here again just to kind of see if I could kind of get anything interesting. I was kind of hoping more uh, kind of distance, the colours in the distance being a bit more kind of magenta. I took a colour shot uh, with um, Ektar. Um, again, I don't really know if it's kind of caught the colours, I suppose, as much as I can kind of see with my, with my eye. So hopefully it kind of has. But again, we'll have to wait and see. So the sun is uh, pretty much set. And the clouds have completely rolled over. It's actually now a bit chilly, so I'm kind of glad I did bring the coat at the end. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any gloves, so my hands are starting to get a bit cold. But with that said, I think it's time to head back to the car.